Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Vox. Thanks to recent events at LA Comic Con, between Kimberly Brooks saying that she's just waiting for Rebecca Sugar to call her back to start Jasper's Redemption, and the tease of a redemption arc occurring in the Steve Universe movie proper, there's been a lot of focus on the big buff Cheeto Puff. And can you really blame anyone? Jasper's awesome! Longtime fans of this channel knows I adore the character. She's absolutely one of my favorites. So I've been clamoring for her return. Real quick, I just want to remind you guys we have a bunch of designs up on our teespring. The Diamond Crashers, also in poster form, I'm Always Feeling Blue, Roundtable Black and Blue, Plan of Attack, Bingo Bongo, and so much more, with new designs on the way. If you like what you see, pick one up. Link in the description. But lately I've been thinking, as much as people love the idea of Jasper becoming Crystal Gem, star and all, should she? Would it even make sense at this point in the story? Well, despite being a huge Jasper fan, I actually do believe it may be too late for her redemption arc. Not saying that it won't happen, I can almost guarantee it will, but I don't know if it'll feel right. But Ostrich Fox, what could you ever mean? All character redemptions are perfect and necessary. Well, before you scold me in the comments, just hear me out. As much as I love Steve Universe and I feel that a lot of his storytelling is phenomenal, while certain things are planned out, such as the Rose Quartz's Pink Diamond Twist, or Yellow Diamond Ship arm wrestling with a cluster, there are things the crew also admitted weren't planned out. This could range from harmless episode ideas to major characters, such as Bismuth, Quite a long time ago on the Steven Universe podcast, the crew actually admitted when they first showed Business Gem in the episode Line 3 straight to video, they had no idea who this character was going to be. What was she going to be like? What's her favorite flavor of ice cream? All of these things were fleshed out at a later time. And once they got their story straight, they only decided to bring in Bismuth at a time where they felt it was critical for the audience to see a different side of Rose Quartz, to build up to the revelation that she allegedly shattered Pink Diamond. And while that's all fine and dandy and it worked out, the lack of foresight for her character was quickly felt after her debut. It was always awkward that Bismuth was just kept in this bubble within the temple, that the Crystal Gems nor Steven never bothered talking to her. Even after Steven was informed that Rose shattered Pink Diamond, or after his trial in a homer, we learned that may not be the case. I have a lot of gripes of how the actual murder mystery aspect of Pink Diamond was executed, but you think Bisif would have been essential to cracking the code. Or at least at some point, Steven would have been curious enough about everything to talk to her. In her final few moments, not only did she come to terms with Steven not being Rose, but she stated he's already better than Rose and we saw his guilt over Bismuth in the episode Mindful Education. Yet, despite all the pieces in place, Bismuth didn't return until the episode Made of Honor. For what grand reason in the story will they finally reintroduce Bismuth? Uh, well, Ruby and Sapphire want more of their friends at the wedding, but, you know, they're all kind of corrupted or shattered? Now look, I'm fine with how Bismuth came back, but you can't deny that there were a lot of missed opportunities, and I think this ultimately has to deal with the fact that she wasn't a planned character from the game go, that they had no idea what she would be like when they first planted the easter egg for her, and that might make it a bit more difficult for them to figure out what to do with the character now that she seems to be back full time. Although I already made a pretty neat theory that she may have some bonding moments of Peridot, both being innovative and all. If you haven't seen that yet, you should check it out. Now what does this have to do with Jasper? Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Well when we look at the behind the scenes art, Rebecca Sugar's doodles of Jasper and all, it does appear as if she had more planning than Bismuth. That going into it, they already had a good idea of what she would be like. Yet we still don't have the concrete details. We don't know if she was always planned to serve Pink Diamond. In fact, a lot of our clarification on Jasper came long after the episode Earthlings aired, aka her less than spectacular send-off. We learned that Jasper wanted to hunt down the best gems on Earth. She not only fused with Biggs out of desperation, but because Biggs was a court soldier. In a way, she put them on the same level. Jasper has a lot of built up resentment towards herself because she stems from Earth, this planet that she despises. And while these are things we could deduce from the episodes themselves, it is a tad disheartening to get the complete rundown after she's already out of the show. We know she's going to come back. Rebecca Sugar has stated she loves both Jasper and Biggs too much to never see them again, and we already got Bismuth back, but much like Bismuth, it's very apparent they didn't know what direction they would take the character after she was corrupted. Earthlings revealed that Jasper's whole thing was that Rose Quartz shattered Pink Diamond. Jasper clearly had an attachment to Pink Diamond, so her disdain for Rose Quartz, all of her actions suddenly made a lot more sense. A line of dialogue from Jasper's final moments in Earthlings seemed to indicate she actually has some resentment towards Yellow Diamond. Where at the very least, she's only serving her because she has to. Because when you're at the bottom, you'll follow anyone that makes you feel like less of a failure. 
And while there was a lot of potential for redemption there, Amethyst even called her sis after bubbling her. Writers Matt Burnett and Ben Levin, alongside Rebecca Sugar, clearly wrote themselves into a corner. That corner being corruption. But again, this wasn't truly felt until much later in the show. Rose Quartz was Pink Diamond. That information alone could have blew Jasper's mind. Not to mention the series of events leading up to it. Zircon accusing Blue or Yellow of shattering Pink and Yellow Diamond's erratic behavior during the trial. One of the diamonds being accused for shattering pink actually never really went anywhere. It was never brought up again. You'd think that would have been explored at least a little. Granted, that may have been a story you couldn't really have Pearl involved in all too much as she knew the truth, but it doesn't really mean it wasn't worth exploring at all. Steven's search for answers, trying to learn more about Pink Diamond, and the storyline of him trying to pursue the truth was kind of just dropped after he went to Homeworld. These could have been great moments for Jasper to shine. Imagine Jasper trying to rationalize the idea that maybe Pink Diamond wasn't shattered by Rose Quartz. Imagine Jasper trying to process and cope with the idea that Rose Quartz is Pink Diamond. And although that is something we'll clearly get in the show proper, whenever Jasper does return, it would have carried more weight before the events of Reunited. Allow me to explain. While there will certainly still be conflict whenever Jasper does return, I can't see it being as tense as when they could have done it with the Diamond still unaware and out of the loop. Imagine Jasper partaking in the battle against Blue and Yellow. Imagine Blue or Yellow Diamond's reaction to Jasper being there. Blue Blue Diamond was surprised at a lapis lazuli would affect, but Yellow Diamond? She would be absolutely crushed. And it could have been a great parallel to Earthlings. And Jasper's reaction to Peridot becoming a crystal gem. What are you doing here? I... I'm a crystal gem now! <laughs> and we could have explored just how much Jasper loved her diamond. I mean, imagine Jasper throwing herself through hoops trying to appease Steven, under the impression that he's Pink Diamond, or even something as goofy as, but clearly you just lost your memories, my diamond. Allow me to serve you. We'll take you to all the places you loved on Earth, and before you know it, your memory will be back. To which Amethyst would say, uh, Steven, I don't think Jasper's paying any attention to what you're actually saying. Shut up, runt! But look where we're at in the series now. Yellow, blue, and as far as we know, white diamond, are under the impression that Steven is Pink Diamond, that Pink Diamond staged her shattering. So, unless things go south, at least with yellow and blue, there's less of a compelling inner conflict for Jasper becoming a crystal gem. Yeah, she still has to deal with the fallout of Rose Quartz being Pink Diamond, and what that means for her, someone who's spent the last few thousand years trying to crush Rose Quartz. But hey, if the diamonds are already cool with the crystal gems, then why won't Jasper be? Yeah, there's still a chance that one diamond could still oppose the crystal gems after everything's said and done, leading Jasper to run off and serve said diamond, denying the idea that Rose Quartz is truly Pink Diamond, but I don't know. Anything else just feels lamer in comparison. And you could make the argument, well, you only feel that way because you thought that was going to happen and then it didn't, but honestly, a lot of those scenarios I just came up with prior to recording the video. Looking at how Jasper could have fit in into everything in hindsight, Jasper was benched by corruption. It's clear the writers were done with her at the time, but because of corruption's everlasting presence throughout the series, I'm not sure they ever had an idea at the time how they would bring her back. For all we know, she could be back now. She could be featured in a multitude of episodes at the storyboarding at this very moment, maybe even in season 6, and we would be none the wiser. And as a Jasper fan, I'm sure however they'll bring her back will be nothing short of phenomenal. I'm sure I'll be pleased. But because they already have a set way of curing corruption, we probably won't see Jasper until such a thing happens. Unless they pull a monster reunion and bring back Jasper as a half-healed corrupted gem. And I mean, again, if that does occur, why couldn't they have done that during the Pink Diamond murder mystery? Steven looking to Jasper for answers, but in a half-healed form. I'm sure he'd come up with numerous justifications for it, but it just feels like waste of potential. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. Do you think Jasper should have a redemption arc? How would you go about it? Do you feel as if her character is already waste potential for the storylines not covered? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts to me at DrVox or at RoundtableVids. We're also on Instagram. If you went up the Roundtable Grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and your name could be at the end of the video. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop of all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out.